having issues again with the orientation of the live stream. I don't know why it's not getting orientation is log rotated the device. Um, well, it looks like today we are going to have to do it in this vertical shape because yeah, hi everyone. I'm here with a cookie from Willy. He's here below me <laughs> trying to eat the cookie. Um, so while I try to fix this, you can get gear up yourself. Although yeah, it really looks like it's going to say it like that. I don't know, YouTube likes to do these funky updates um, and I schedule quite some time in advance the live sessions. So then this happens. So let me see that. Okay. If I'm here, you should see me and yes, Willie. Okay. Come here. Plats. Plats. Good boy. I hope he's going to be behaving today. <laughs> So welcome to another false and Chad live stream. I'm here with my laptop so I can also check your messages. And yeah, I can see myself as well. So I make sure that um, you see me and with this new orientation, to be honest, I'm going to bring the camera even closer to me. Let's come closer. Yeah, Willie, I love you too. I gave him food, he, so he behaves. Those that you have dash wounds, you may know how crazy they can get if they are hungry. Good, so like now he's getting too crazy with the bed, so I need to also fix the bed. That's not the way to start the lab session, sorry. <laughs> so welcome also to the reality behind these things when uh, yeah, you have a dash wound in your life. So now I start again. Welcome. Um, I'm very excited to have this false training with you. Uh, as like in the last time, you can text below if or in the chat, use the chat functionality. If you have any questions, um, also on the exercises that I'm gonna do, we can also chat about the weather, which is very crappy in Switzerland. And that's why I'm wearing my Silverwind Monet um, activewear set. So I bring a bit of color to this uh, gray fall day. And uh, also I want to support Silverwind because they have amazing ethical and sustainability standards in all what they do. Um, so if you want to know more information about them, I'm going to leave a link below after this live session. But uh, so this, I think we need to start. I want you to, yeah, tell, uh, text in the chat from where you are, from where you are from, um, what's your goals with folding. So feel free. How we are gonna start today, it's no stretchy, so no super bendy, glamorous thing. But when we do forward folds, uh, we are involving our low core and also our hips, our glutes and our legs. So how we are starting today the training, it's gonna be activating those body parts. And for that, I'm having a block here. And also if you have one of these, we are going to be using, but for sure the blog. Y... Ah, saludos, Marco. Yes, you can also text in Spanish, in Basque, if someone speaks Basque, I also speak, uh, speak Basque and German. If you type in Portuguese, Italian, French, I may understand something. But yeah, Marco, I hope you're doing well. Um, and you're ready for some pretzels. Okay, so let's get the block and start working in our low core. And for that, I love this exercise. It's coming more from the Pilates background. So since I'm having this new vertical view, thank you YouTube for blocking my orientation. Yeah, I should fit. That's good. Okay. So I want to check that my knees and hips are in one line, heels and knees as well in another line. 
low back eats on the mat so you should already start feeling the core really getting that fire there and then let's just bring the feet down hinging from the hip so I really don't want to avoid bending the knees let's do 10 of these one two three four Five. Don't forget to keep the low core on the mat. I have to say this is very complicated talking and doing this exercise. It's like my breath is almost running out. <laughs> and we are going to do the last one. Nice. Now we place uh, the block on top of the knee, elbow against the block. This is, is the same line, knee and hip. We grab the head with the opposite and we are going to go into the side. So one, two, three, and the elbow and the knee, they are doing like, like pressing each other against the block. Um, five more, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. We are going to change sides. Grab the head and let's go for one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice. Oy, I hope you feel warm already. This is, by the way, my first forward falls training from the season. I've been um, doing a physical rest. The doctor told me that I should definitely rest. I was doing too much. Um, so I'm very excited. I don't know what's gonna come, if I will get my Buddhasana or not. Now we are gonna activate the booty. So come in, uh, laying down on your stomach. We are gonna place the feet together and for here it's gonna go to the hands. Good. I'm just checking myself there that I Fit. I put it everything so nicely for the horizontal view. <laughs> and now we activate the glutes and lift the knees up. So the knees are going to stay all the time up. Oh, hi, Willie. Oh, no. I think now he, he really wants to be on top of my back. And we are going to just like squeeze the glutes and come on top. <laughs> so I'm going to get now 13 kilos on top. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> and we go for one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and hold it up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Ugh. and that's it, the class finished already for today. <laughs> okay, yeah, Willie, really love you too. And from here, we are going to grab our band. If you don't have the band, we, sorry, I'm laughing because my dog is really like licking me all over. Um, we are going to get the band and um, do some external rotations with the hip. I place the band between my knees. If you don't have a band, you can still do this exercise. Um, it's just the same. Important are that the feet, yeah, yeah, stay together. So, go into this, uh, I call it like mermaid pose, and then <laughs> stop it, Willie. <laughs> Open the knees and close them. Okay. You know, all my friends, they laugh at Willie, like they say that he has a feet fetish or sock fetish, and I think he definitely has at least feet fetish. And we are gonna open and close for 10 counts. And five more, four, three, two, and one, good. Relax a bit, and now we are gonna hold it in that maximum range for 10 counts. Take a deep inhale, and exhale, we go up and hold this amplitude or even more depending how strong and flexible you are 10 9 8 7 
six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, and we are gonna switch sides. Okay, sausage. Let's go to the other side. Let's see what we have on chat. I'm here, yes, perfect. And Joe, Willie needs attention. Take care of him first. <laughs> yeah, I think Willie needs attention all the time. Um, we've been walking already today and, and he has been, yeah, napping and behaving well, but there is this point, like five fish, it's when he, he would like to be playing, but five fish eats when we have the live session. <laughs> okay, let's do, we are doing uh, 10 in total, and five more, four, three, two, one. Now we are gonna hold it in the maximum amplitude for 10, and let's go. Open more, more, more. Even if you think you cannot open more, you can do it. And let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Very nice. Good. Okay. So we basically activate those parts of the, uh, that this part of the body that will help us also getting um, deeper into the folds. So now we are gonna go into a standing position and we are gonna start warming up our folds. I will recommend that you have like some weights nearby. We are not gonna start with them, but afterwards we are gonna do our holds. Um, so let's go. Okay, uh, three positions we are gonna check today for our folds. It's gonna be first having the feet hip width apart. So take a deep inhale. I want you to also tag slightly your pelvis and have the hands on the hips, feel the hinging from the hips and also use the hips to pinch your shoulder blades together and help you opening your chest. Inhale deep and on exhale forward fold. Now, if you are hyperextending your knees as usual, you need to micro bend. Now, nice. so we are gonna go to our deepest range of motion, whatever you are here. You release the hands, grab opposite elbows, and we are gonna do little bounces. Imagine you want to reach the floor. And let's do this. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, and one. Now hold it in that full range of motion for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And if you look into the camera, you see how I'm creating a cavity here between my hips and my stomach. There is like this kind of a hole. So this is something we want to activate as well in the forward folds that helps us create a space to bend more. And it's basically using the core as we were doing in the first exercise uh, when we did the block thing. Good. Now we go to the next position in the hips. By the way, if you have time, put from what nationality you are, if you want your real name or nickname, because I know your YouTube accounts, guys, but sometimes I don't know if I'm gonna know what's your real name you know or the correct name and you can always call me Zohar or Zoe. Okay the toes are touching each other and the heels are open. We are gonna do the same concept inhale deep and exhale. Uh, so we are really on the maximum internal hip rotation and we go as deep as we can. Also remember try to keep your chest as open as possible. For the long run, it's the best uh, because then you can get really deep into the folds if you work also on your thoracic spine and lengthening the spine. And let's do more bounces. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Come back up. And now we are going to go to our full external hip rotation. So, you know, it's like this kind of ballet penguin. So touching the heels, open, 
inhale deep and exhale forward fall again from the hinge and grab opposite elbows and let's go for one. Oh my god this one it's I don't know like you need to tell me which where you felt the stretchiest if it was in a internal or external rotation because for me external it's horrible like I feel everything is stretching the legs the hips the low back and we continue with the bounces 10 more nine eight seven six five four three two and one nice band and we are gonna grab our weight so you choose from all these different variations see which one was the stretchiest we are gonna do for sure feet parallel one set and the other set it's gonna be either internal rotation or external rotation so uh, get ready grab your way and let's go I'm grabbing here and having with me two kilos I'm being modest today I usually like to grab like three to four kilos okay take a deep inhale and on the exhale micro bend the knees imagine you want to bring the stomach to the sides so that's the first step it could be that your position is this um, so you are kind of having a gap there it's totally fine but I want you to pay attention is in your spine and tilting your pelvic floor so sitting bones want to come towards the ceiling take a deep inhale and exhale allow the gravity pull you down so really use those uh, those weights if you're already touching the floor like me you can bring the hands backwards so we go and bring the hands more back for all those touching the floor if you want to place some height below the block uh, the feet like blocks or go into a couch or something you can also do that or on a box whatever you are in the process let's hold it 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 bend the knees and come back up oh Willy so cute he has been really cuddly like he just follows me everywhere maybe it's the weather change okay and now we open the feet external hip rotation inhale deep and on the exhale well sorry external hip rotation for me because this is where I really feel super like it's really stretchy but if for you was internal hip rotation then you go for that and then we just hold the weight and the same you can also bend the knees if you want a micro bend them not to overstretch them and try to come a bit more done so in my case now I don't have a space to bring the hands around um, uh, in the middle of the feet so I bring the hands backwards to be honest at this stage also the weights don't make much sense so you can grab the feet straighten the legs and try to pull yourself forward so your nose is touching the legs so hold the stretch 10 9 eight seven six five four three two and one beautiful now we are gonna do one ah nice hi yes super cool that you are joining the class yay now we are gonna do one exercise guys that it's gonna burn your legs um you know how hate love so this exercise it's great for conditioning and you may hate it but then you love it <laughs> so basically we are in our forward folds feet are hip width apart and we are gonna bring the hands to the floor so hands on the floor we rotate the feet 45 degrees and come into a yogi squat malasana from here it's basically we try to open the chest and rotate again on the heels and go into a forward fold what happens if you are not reaching your hands and your back is rounding it's okay for this exercise if your back is rounding I 
will not pay much attention. You may need to be on your heels if you don't have the ankle flexibility, then it's a tiny bit more difficult, but you can still do the same thing rotating on the, on the toes. So let's go, we are gonna do five of these and we go for it and open into Malasana, then come into a forward fold. And every time we do this movement, we try, wanna get deeper into both poses. Opening and closing, open and closing. I hope you're feeling the burn. I definitely feel it. Open and close and let's do one more. Nice, and now we are gonna stay in the yogi squad. In the yogi squad, if you need to put, um, you know, blocks under the ankles like this, you go ahead, so it can, you know, like it helps you also to lengthen the spine. If you have the ankle mobility, you stay where you are. And I'm just gonna quickly check the chat. It's so cool that many of you, you're joining for the training. Ah, you never did it? By the way, is your name Xavier? Because I, I always thought your name is Xavier, but you need to tell me if it's true or not. Yeah, with the weight is really good. And if you have like box or something, you can also allow yourself to pull a bit more. From here, let's just do some rotation, some twist with the upper body, inhale and exhale, open to the side. And if you can, you grab the opposite side and really use this to, on the exhale to rotate even more. <laughs> Will it come into the microphone? Because it has a fluffy thing on, on it. Like, ooh, can I play with that? And come back to center, inhale. And on the exhale, we are gonna switch sides and twist, 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 nice and come back to center and we are gonna go into the side lounge sorry baby you can be here it's okay side lounge so from malasana basically extend the left leg nice and if you want you can sit or you can also stay here but i we are gonna do both let's just sit and then I stay here. So I want you to focus on the knee. The knee is facing towards the ceiling, the knee is facing towards you. Front, towards the front. And then we do one more. And from here, you can use the hands. Maybe it's, we are still not fully warm up. So I would recommend not to over, do, like go too hard at the beginning. So use the hands if you need on the floor. Otherwise you can also do without the hands. And again, here we are gonna move and sit, move and sit. So approximately like five to six times. We really wanna warm um, that hip joint. Good, and from here we are gonna change from one side to another. Do a couple if you want with the hands on the mat and then you can try to stay with the hands on the air. If you do with the hands on the air, see if you can keep your chest open. And then sit, extend the legs, relax the hips. We are gonna go into our forward fold. And if you have any questions, I said it at, maybe at the beginning, but maybe some of you, you connect it later, feel free to ask on the, or use the chat functionality to ask. Inhale deep, check that your spine is as straight as possible. And exhale, we start by bending the elbows and bringing the chest forward. Hmm, so imagine, you keep the elbows bended and the chest, it's coming so much forward that your stomach is touching first the thighs. Good, we are gonna stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Set the set, uh, the yoga strap aside, we are gonna grab the weight. 
So I'm grabbing one kilo. I will say one kilo is good enough. If you have one kilo and a half, um, that's also good. More, maybe you need to check how it goes. We are gonna extend the arms. And I really imagine we are bending, we are hinging from the hips. So the whole bending comes from here. My upper body is in one line. I extend here and imagine you want to reach forward. We do 10 of these and uh, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we are gonna hold it there in the maximum position for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, drop slowly the weight and see where you are, like where the hands drop when you do this exercise. Now, if you need a strap to instead of round it back to allow yourself to lengthen, then you go ahead and you grab it. Otherwise, you stay where you are, trying to open the chest, pinch the shoulder blades together and come more forward. And we try to cut as deep as possible and gonna start counting until 10, whatever it's our deepest. Also, if you are in the same level as me, we can grab some blocks and place them below the feet, or behind the feet and come forward, hold it 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Grab a block and we are going to place them below the heel. Now we'll grab a weight and we are going to do just five times this time. And then we are, do our active hold and see um, for those that you are already in advanced flexibility, if you can grab, you know, the block and pull yourself forward. For those that you are still working with the strap, you stay working with the strap. Let's go. Arm, uh, arms straight, inhale. And on the exhale, also activate those quads. And let's go. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now hold it. Oops, sorry. I said five and I did ten. Sorry for that. Sometimes I forget the counting. Hee <laughs> hee. Well, extra bonus. Let's do ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop the hands, grab the block. Hey, Willie, he looks like, it looks like he got bothered by something. Okay, baby, no pasa nada. Try to open the chest. You can also work on pointing the toes if you want, or even stretching the toes. Willie, it's all good. Hold it, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Whew. How did it feel this, guys? I hope uh, you're feeling warm. Oh my God, it's already 5.30. Unbelievable how time it's fasting so uh, it's passing so quickly okay because now we are gonna do butterfly and um, for that directly we are gonna be using a block under our feet so place the block under the feet no matter your level well yeah if your bag is rounding like like the sacrum is here and your back, it's more backwards, then I recommend you sit 
against, uh, on top of some blocks or you go against the wall. For those that the chest can already come forward, you stay where you are. Also, have some ankle weight nearby. I guess you know what's coming with ankle weights. <laughs> okay, we are gonna place the right hand on the right knee, take a deep inhale and exhale. And we kind of twist the upper body towards the right as well. So imagine you're pulling your knee towards the side or front and then down. So you're creating a space in the hip joint. And we hold it here, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful, let's go to the other side. Left hand, left knee, inhale deep. Exhale, twist towards the left and put that pressure on the knee to allow it open. Also with the opposite elbow, I'm kind of blocking myself so I can twist deeper in this position. And blocking myself, I think the right word in English would be hooking, like the elbow to the shin. Yeah, I don't know, you can chat or put it on the chat if I say it correctly. We hold it 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one very nice and the next exercise we are gonna place the weights on top of the knees if you don't have weights um, you can alternate each other like alternate putting more pressure in one knee than the other and then you want to activate the glutes eventually but we can also do that together so inhale deep and exhale grab your feet so you can pull yourself forward and come into this deep forward fold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now activate your booty. So let me see those warm up exercises we did. Activate the glutes, and you will see on me, I'm activating the glutes, and my knees are opening to the side even more. So that's an active hold, it's active flexibility, and we want to hold in the active range for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Take a deep inhale. And on the exhale, the last ten, we are gonna put pressure on the knees with our elbows, the weight to stay there. So now I'm grabbing my ankles, inhale deep and exhale, come forward. Very nice, and hold it, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now activate the glutes, can you hold this range of motion with the arms up? That's the challenge of this pose. So activate the glutes, try to hold that range of motion and lift the arms up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Very nice. So some of you, you know, we have the 25 minutes forward fold, follow along routine on the channel. So today we don't have time to do all the exercises in the world. I would like to, I think one session, we should just schedule like two hours forward folding. Um, but we are gonna focus on poses like Kurmasana, we are gonna do it in, in a minute. And then of course, like leg behind the head and bringing the, uh, the maybe Buddhasana or both feet, the pretzel. For that, I also said on my Instagram, if you have a stick nearby, have it because we are gonna do something very fun at the end. Uh, it's gonna be a challenge and see who holds it the longest. Um, so for that, let's just now go into a straddle split. If the straddle split is not good for you and your low back is bending, like rounding backwards, just sit on top of a block. For those that you have a good straddle split, you want to open it to your maximum range of motion. And we are gonna have, for those that are already sitting, 
comfortable on the straddle split. We will have one block under one foot. Um, the other foot will stay there and then we change. Nice. So from here, try to come forward, taking a deep inhale and exhale. So everyone just try to do a forward fold. Imagine you are grabbing the, 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 the floor and then pinching the shoulder blades together to bring the stomach closer towards the floor and then stretch yourself. Let me know how deep this stretch feels or if you like the straddle split. I see like some people don't really enjoy it. I find it very comfortable. And activate your glutes. Activate the glutes and see how that allows you to get even deeper into the pose. Then relax. You can activate them again and relax. And maybe you want to end up twerking like me. <laughs> Good. Ten. Nine, we are gonna hold it. Eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now come to center, take a deep inhale. Exhale, twist towards the left. Inhale deep and exhale, side bend. Extend the left arm on top of the leg. Now check that your um, left sitting bone is not lifting up and stay here and hold it for 10, nine. You can also look down if you have too much tension on the neck. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. We are gonna change sides. Those with the block, you place now the block under the other foot. Uh, for me, it was the left one. Inhale deep and exhale. We're gonna forward fold again. Today we are not in doing the active drills on a straddle, uh, but you know, you have the class of the 25 minutes alone where we do include the active drills. And I believe in the last balls and chat session, we also did them. I really like them. So it's often I include them. And here again, activate your glutes, open the chest and see if you can get deeper into the pose. If you are still in the beginner phase with you know, we all have been there. I also had to work through that. Um, just to start and be patient with yourself. I would recommend you do long holds, train forward folds at least three times per week. Um, eventually, as the more flexible you get, you don't have to train so much uh, the flexibility, but maybe also some strength, um, strengthening trainings as well. But yeah, three times per week should be a good amount to be a state consistent. If you have time for four or five times per week, it's great, but that's also often not realistic for adults. Inhale and exhale, twist towards the right, inhale deep and exhale, bend to the left. So really keep that uh, upper body twisted, right sitting bone on the mat and left arm over. The le uh, over the head, and maybe you even reach the foot, otherwise you stay where you are. And look down or up, listen to your neck if it needs a bit of relaxation. Hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful, and come back up, remove the block. So when you repeat this recording, you can pause here. If you feel like you need to do the pigeon stretch, the 90-90 stretch. Um, from here, we are gonna do the next one, which is placing the blocks under the knees. And that's why if you need more warm up, feel free to do it after the recording. And now we are gonna have a weight. So it's the forward folding, holding the weight in this position arms up and take a deep inhale and we are going to come forward just um, yeah listen to your body please don't injure yourself don't hold too much weight if you, it's the first time you are doing this stretch and slowly i'm really activating my booty like the glutes are on fire the legs are on fire the core is on fire and the shoulders so they hold me in this position and five more four three, two, one, slowly drop the hands, see where they stay, 
You can relax the legs. <laughs> Inhale deep and on the exhale, you can even use the weight to roll forward and stay in this stretch. With I love this shape, it's like a um, spider. And by the way, on the 30th of October, we are new, doing or I'm, I'm launching like this Halloween live session where we are going to be dressed up. I'm definitely going to be the spooky zebra. Um, and we are going to do like this kind of uh, creepy poses like spiders, uh, alien bridge variations that I love doing for Halloween and all the rest stuff. So I hope to see you there. It's at 8 p.m. for Central European time. So after work for those having the 9 to 5 job or 8 to 5. Good. Come back out. Shake the legs. Let's just do a little warm up for our shoulders before we start into deep poses. So you can grab, uh, grab the the Theraband, open the arms and we try to first just open and close. Open the hands and open, close, open, close. If this is easy to get even closer with the hands until you have like the same line of the shoulder even. Uh, shoulder blades can come towards the ears if you want. Five more, four, three, two and one okay and the next drill it's gonna be the full arm rotation in this class today we are not focusing so much on the shoulders so if you are doing the recording you can also pause after after this exercise to do your own drills the ones you need for uh, to get more comfy in the next poses okay so five times full rotation remember not to start too narrow so you really want to start wide and do the full rotation also don't open your chest we don't need to open it so much um, so really if we want to focus only on the shoulders your spine should be neutral one two three Four, five. Now two fingers, we narrow it and we are going to stay in that position where you want to do the full rotation, but you can. Your mobility, it's not there yet. So pinch more the shoulder blades and rip that band apart. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, Ooh, good. So I'm just, uh, how uh, is everyone feeling? Tell me if your energies, like give me a thumbs up if your energies are fine because now it's where the real work starts for the next 15 minutes where I'm gonna kill you with forward holes. Um, so first pose. We are still gonna be lazy and stay on the mat. It's gonna be our Kurmasana, uh, the turtle pose. And for that, the exercise where we were having the blocks here, it's very important. We are gonna now bring the feet a bit closer to us and grab the ankles and pull yourself forward. Good. So I'm gonna break down the pose. You don't have to do the whole way. Listen to your body. First step, we are going to place the arm. We are going to bring it below the leg. And imagine your shoulder wants to come towards the mat. And at the same time, inhale deep and exhale. Twist towards the left. And walk with your hands even more, more, more. Use the left hand to pull or grab the leg and hold it here. Ten, nine, eight seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very nice, we go to the other side. Yes, yes, perfect. 
Thank you for the heart and thank you for the thumbs up. We are gonna, um, yeah, have so much fun doing the Kurmasana and some pretzels together. So inhale, now we inhale, exhale. So try to just get as deep as possible before you do the twist. So now I'm in my full range of motion here. I'm gonna inhale and exhale, twist. The upper body and that allows me to go a bit lower and hold it here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. You can either come back up or you can just look towards the front. Hi. <laughs> Place the other arm below and then a trick. Walk with the feet if you can closer to you. Now, you can slide the legs forward and let yourself fall. Or for me, I usually like to like press with my heels against the floor and slide backwards. And this could be Kurmasana, the turtle pose. So inhale deep and exhale. You inhale and it's exhale. We want to get deeper into the pose until imagine the chest is touching or your chin is touching. When you don't have enough thoracic mobility, your chin will be touching, but eventually you want the chest to touch. So if you feel like you are blocked by, um, by your thoracic mobility, then you need to work on that. You can also check our 20 minutes back bending beginner class that we have in the channel where we also do some thoracic spine work. So you see how I'm lifting my heels up, that's activating my legs. Nice. Hold it, your Kurmasana, for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one for those who want to try from Kurmasana, you know what's super cool to do? Titivasana, firefly. So I'm going to press up, up, up. Woo! And then you extend your legs. And from here, the next challenge would be to go as slow as possible back to Kurmasana. Ta-da! So also, if you do the recording, you can pause here and play a bit with this pose. Unfortunately, we don't have all that time to do it, but I really uh, recommend you work on this because the next pose, we are going to combine it with this one. Uh, so we go into our standing forward fold. Um, and it's part of my contortion performance where I do this one, so those that you have watched it, you know which, what's coming. We open the feet, hip... No, it's not hip width apart, it's like wider than the mat. It's mostly like touching the mat. And now, try to bend as much as possible. Try to bend, bend, bend... as much as possible, like combining malasana and... Bind here. If you don't bind, it's okay. You can also grab your hips. So you don't have to wait all the way until you are able to bind to work in the pose. So if I bind for sure, for me it's easier. But I can also hold my hips and enter into the forward fold. Maybe you are in this position, it's totally fine. The legs usually burn here. Like it, there is more strength involved than one, so one can think. And then here you can try to walk. But walking is a bit more difficult. <laughs> Woo. And either you stay and to come down, you can bring the hands down and enter again into uh, Titivasana. And from here, you go back into Kurmasana. Yay! And this could be also a really cool transition. You can work on your forward folds. Um, how do we now 
get a tiny bit deeper. Uh, we are gonna do a kind of um, yeah deep stretch, which is gonna be grabbing the ankle weights. If you don't have ankle weights, it's totally fine. If you have ankle weights, we are gonna place them. I have here two kilos. Pam, pam. I hope everyone also has cool plans for the weekend. Lily and I, for sure, we are going to go to dance into the rain later. Okay. Oh my God, these weights are so bulky. Sorry for that. So in the meantime, you can, you know, lay down on your back and open the legs into your straddle position because that's what we are going to do to get deeper into our folds. Um, first, it's about your hip mobility and how long is your butt and hamstrings. And then we are going to do one drill for your back. So first, start with the legs. Um, for the sake of the camera, I think, and the length of my legs, um, well, I think I will have to give you my butt or maybe I can do it like this way. Okay, so I'm basically gonna open into the middle split. It's the knees facing to me, then rotate the hips, rotate the hips and allow the feet to come towards the mat. And then with my hands, inhale deep. And exhale, I press the feet towards the mat. Once they touch the mat, I activate the legs, the glutes, and the core, so they hold me in this position. Okay, stay there, try and... So it's basically, yay. I'm gonna go into the other perspective. Um, and hold it. So inhale deep and exhale. Now when I press my hands towards uh, against the feet, what I'm doing is I'm trying to bring my sacrum towards the mat. So the other perspective you can see here, I'm trying to bring the sacrum towards the mat and keeping the feet on the mat or as close as possible. So it's kind of very stretchy and extreme. But basically, I want to try that my low back is on the mat. Then I bend the knees and straighten the legs. That's the other drill. We have done it in previous falls and chat sessions. So whatever you are, hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, you and when I'll grab the head inhale deep and exhale imagine you want to do like a crunch and come up as much as possible and hold it for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 I'm bringing the sacrum towards the mat and you see like my feet are lifting up that's fine we want to work in both ranges Ah, oh, good. I hope this killed your leg fully. Uh, and the next one we are gonna do before uh, doing more pretzels. Also today we are not doing like compass pose. That's not happening today, but you know, you can do it in the channel. We have more of the exercises. This one, it's intense. It's intense, and if you have four blocks, it's even better. It's getting a very deep fold. I'm gonna place it here. And basically, um, it's going from the shoulder stand. Ooh. Wait. <laughs> I'm just trying, I have a long neck, so I'm trying to place my head on top of the blocks, okay. We are going to come into the shoulder stand, but directly into Halasana. Inhale deep and fully exhale. 
this one it's kind of deep so our goal will be that the knees touch the mat inhale deep and exhale Hold it five, four, three, two, one, and slowly come back out. When you do the recording, you can do up to three sets of this. When we come out directly, even if we have the blocks, doesn't matter. Try to open your chest like in a fish pose, rolling on your head. It's a perfect counterbalance. A stretch and hold it five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Okay, so today's leg behind the head, it's gonna be on the floor. I'm on the lazy fall mood. Um, and because we are gonna stay on the mat, leg behind the head, let's do our drill. Um, for those just in case maybe you have your, the strap, I'm gonna show you how to use the strap. Come here, good. We are gonna first grab the feet, the foot, inhale deep and exhale. Do like a nice rotation on your hip. So I'm pulling my foot towards me and the knee I'm pushing it against me. And I'm trying to bring, once I have here a nice parallel line to my upper body, I try to bring the leg closer to me. And we are gonna hold this for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now place the knee towards the mat and hold it 5, 4, three, two, and one, good. We are gonna go into a middle line, so it's not gonna be a straight leg here, neither in the knee here, somewhere in between, not diagonal. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Roll on your back if you need to. Lift your upper body and place the foot behind you. Now, remember what we were doing with the, with the leg below before in this position so we want to try to achieve that behind our leg but you need a huge external mobility for that so it's not easy but it's basically the foot comes below the head and then with the strap i'm gonna try to help and bring it towards my armpit to enter in a Buddhasana position, which I'm not gonna get it today, and I'm okay with that because I haven't been training. Whew, and this already feels stretchy enough, to be honest. So if you feel like the mat is pressing against your vertebras, which it happens to me, and sometimes I finish with bruises, you may want to uh, get like a squishy yoga mat or something. And we hold it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's switch sides. I'm sorry it's taking me a bit longer the training today. I hope you're not in a rush to leave me. Otherwise, I mean, I will understand um, the training stays recorded. And let's go. We go to the other side and the same. Feet towards us, knee pulling against us. Inhale deep and exhale. And the foot wants to be in the center line of the upper body. I hope you are still there and fighting it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, beautiful. And now the knee towards the mat. Try to keep the spine on the mat as well. Five, four, three, two, one, beautiful. And let's just bring the leg behind the head. Good. Inhale deep and exhale. 
For example, here I have like a worse mobility. I do need to go a tiny bit towards the side, like rotating to create the space. And then I grab the foot with the opposite hand and then I place myself correctly. And this is already very stretchy, so I'm gonna stay here. So it's important to listen to your body as always. So yeah, I hope you can make it for the Halloween session, even if you're not dressed up, I mean, but it would be fun to create some spooky poses together. And let's hold it 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ooh la la. Okay. I'm also like, I can feel like I haven't been stretching for almost a month. And let's do our pretzel on the floor, like super lazy. So you always like try to go with you, the leg where you know you hook easiest. That's one of my advices and tricks. So definitely I'm gonna go first with my easy one where I almost have my Buddhasana there. But in good times I do have it. And then I hook the other one. And once here, you can also press a bit you know, the knees or hold the ankles to put, um, to get that bit deeper into the pose. And chill. Willie is looking at me like, mom, why you have to do these kind of things? Like, but then he's the one that also converts himself in a donut when he is sleeping. Maybe he learned it from me. Pretzels and donuts. <laughs> And we hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ah, yeah, I see you pass literally your head, correct? Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> No, yes. Yeah, so try it out. Yeah, it's really, it's really like that, like, fuck. And now uh, we come out. I mean, I'm like almost dead, but we have one last challenge, which is going to be who holds it the longest. So it's going to be with a stick. It's super fun. Um... I was measuring myself the other day, but yeah, the other day was like some time ago. I think, let's see, where do I have the space? So I have this with me. If you have a broom, you can also use a broom. Um, it's gonna be our inverted straddle where, uh, yeah, getting a bit extreme. I think this should be not long. So if your stick is short, may, like you struggle with the feet, then it means you need it uh, longer. This is for sure like a pull-up bar that you put between the door frame, but obviously I'm using it for something else. Uh, I'm also gonna get a cushion. You can, do, because I know the exercise, I know like a cushion, it's gonna be nice. Um, so you can try it out and see if you also need a cushion. Basically, and maybe you have seen it also on Instagram. Um, so we really want to find a comfortable position in the following stretch. So let's see. Um, you know what? I'm going to take everything later. And I'm going to have the phone so we can also measure how long we can stay in this position. And maybe if I have it here, I will show it to you. So you see, I'm not ch cheating. <laughs> okay, so basically, we are having, we're gonna place the bar here and bring it over the head. This is the first step. If you feel this is enough, then you stay here. If you feel that you can even, well, maybe this bar is a bit small. Um, I did it at my place in Spain, but I did it with the broom. 
as you may have seen in one of the shorts. And then you place the elbows. You can also grab your head. I'm gonna, um, and yeah, here it's why I said about putting a cushion. It's like how comfortable you can get holding as long as possible these kind of poses. Um, but now I don't have arms. Yeah, so I'm starting the timer. This is gonna be our challenge of the day where we literally break ourselves. I'm trying, my goal basically, so my goal is really bringing the, the, the bar towards my knees. So it's also more comfortable. And yeah, I should have, you know, taken my lap, the laptop, but uh, I think, can I reach it? Can I reach it? No, I cannot reach it. Or maybe just see. Oh, I can't reach the laptop. I guess I will have to read your comments later, sorry. So now it's almost one minute. I have to say this bar is a tiny bit small, like when you have a broom, for example, you can open your legs a tiny bit more and then you have more space to come up. And why we were bringing before, like I was telling you, bring the sacrum down, because the more down it is, the more flexible you are, or longer you, the back of the legs and the glutes are, the easier you are going to lift up. And it's also more comfy for your spine. Like, to be honest, my spine is now going against the mat. I really need something. Cushion. So what do you think? I, you think I can read a book here? Well, those that they are subscribed to the uh, clubs, they know the answer. Oof. I know this is also a very weird uh, view of myself. Click, click. <laughs> it's now two minutes and I'm like, my legs are like, maybe we just like give up and call it for today. So let's try to hold it for 10 more or maybe even two minutes and a half. Let's do two minutes and a half today. And on the next falls and chat, we see how long we can hold the next forward fold. And don't you need to tell me those that they participate in the challenge how long you could hold this oh my god i think i'm gonna walk like a penguin Oof. yeah so for me the worst part was really that this is the mat is not squishy enough it's an amazing mat by the way for traveling but yeah i feel i have a mat over there which is more squishy nice yes have a super beautiful day yes this last one definitely guys definitely you need to try it out um next time i'm gonna bring a broom yeah definitely but yeah so i hope you enjoy the class i'm sorry like yeah yeah with the with the ankles uh so my like I think this exercise is just like it's it's awesome um, and then the goal will be eventually what I'm gonna do now the last pose because it looks like my spine is fine it could be this one which you can try afterwards it's like try it without the bar right eventually I don't know I want to do this in a performance and be able not to use any bar uh, although a bar maybe could be fun uh, so what I'm going to do is fold these or even, you know, have the cushion. See if this can help again. This part is so spontaneous. I have never tried this before. So I hope you appreciate that I'm here uh, going live and trying new stuff. All right, from here, take a deep inhale and exhale. And then it's exactly where I will try 
to calm up. And you just like get super deep here. But it's kind of difficult. I need to work and explore this pose a tiny bit more. I don't know, what do you think about it? Yeah, I'm glad you, you tried it. I'm so glad. Well, thank you everyone that uh, you joined live and you know, the class is gonna stay recorded and, and you can do it as many times as you want. Also, take your pauses, explore the poses. If you feel like you need other drills, like additional drills to what we do today, also pause, do those drills and come back to the recording. Um, yeah, it was very nice uh, being in touch with all of you and thank you so much for joining me and yeah, celebrating the love for folks. I see you live on the 30th of October, 8 p.m. set time. If you can join me for Halloween Spooky Shapes, um, Spooky Zebra and I are going to be waiting for you. So set this, have a beautiful weekend. Uh, Willie and I, we are just going to go for a doggy walk. Uh, see if I can really even walk after these stretches. I'm like, ooh, yeah, I can walk. So, okay. I was holding it for two minutes and a half. Next time should be longer. So I can really walk like a penguin. Okay, Mwah! thank you for joining, bye. Also, I always forget to say it by like and recommend it to your friends if you want to support my work. Thank you, bye. Bye-bye.